Today we'll be focusing on how the Collido Information Engine can be used to increase the agility of data warehouse-based reporting solutions by allowing new hierarchies to be added when existing ones do not provide all the details analysts need to make decisions. We are looking at a simple business model at a life insurance company. Here we're analyzing the exposure to policy benefit payments as well as the actual benefits paid and the policy assets themselves. Those transactions are represented by the rounded boxes in the center of the model. Lines of the same color as the transactions link them to tan square boxes. Those square boxes define the reference data at the life insurance company, the company's products, customers, and sales organization, for example. The blue boxes inside the tan ones describe the various hierarchies and business rules of each of those types of data. For example, a policy is tied to a specific life insurance product, can be assigned to a risk class, and have a policy status. The model tells us that every policy must have these elements, and any policy records that do not have them will need to be fixed before they can add it to the warehouse. We know those elements are mandatory because the lines between policy and these parent items are solid. This represents a mandatory relationship in the model. Not all relationships are mandatory. Some are optional. If we move over to the customer domain, we see a relationship between client and credit rating that is dashed, denoting that a credit rating is not required for a client. Also notice that the credit rating itself has a recursive relationship. This denotes that Collider will be managing a ragged hierarchy within credit ratings that can have multiple levels. The result of describing these requirements graphically is to automate the warehouse structures as well as data loading and validation routines so that a set of Cognos reports can be used by the business to monitor the organization. A business analyst is looking at a basic report of policy benefits paid against the total policy assets broken down by the marital status of the policyholders. The amount awarded seems quite high for our divorced customers, and the analyst would like to understand those customers better. In order to do that, he realizes that having more information about the policyholders would be useful. Specifically, he would like to add policyholder salary and occupation information to the report. While that information can be found, it is not yet available in the warehouse. Without Collido, the seemingly simple request might take weeks, but with Collido, the new requirements can be added quickly and with little effort from the IT staff. The warehouse architect will add the requirement to the Collido business information model as the business analyst describes what is required. While together, they can confirm the relationships are correct and mutually understood. Here the analyst adds salary group and occupation entities to the client reference data domain. Definitions can be captured in the objects when they are drawn. Here we define the salary group data as originating from Dun & Bradstreet information. Once definitions are captured, they're stored in a data dictionary that is maintained by the Kaleido product and shared with metadata-aware BI tools like Cognos. The heart of Kaleido's automation is adding that change to the product simply by synchronizing the model as we have done here. With the changes to the requirements made, the key next step is to add new data to support the requirement. We already have a load routine for client data, so expanding it to include customer salary and occupation data should be easy. Here we see the data that has been landed and available for use. Let's bring in the newly landed data for salary group and occupation data and join it to our existing customer data.
we can even preview our data to make sure it looks right. Next, we need to align those landed salary and occupation data elements to the business model. We do that here as a simple mapping exercise using the set of transformations that Coletto provides at the bottom of the screen and mapping field elements on the left to Coletto model objects seen on the right. We'll launch the modified load routine and Kaleido does the rest, managing the complexities of integrating data such as managing system keys, data change detection, validating the data against the business rules, managing history, and the physical loading. Finally, we need to make sure that all the data in the repository is transferred to the reporting schema. Kaleido makes that easy with a simple task that can be run either here or from any scheduling tool. With metadata aware tools like Cognos, Kaleido can add these additional reporting objects directly to the framework model. But for other tools, or to provide more focused sets of data to analysts, marts can be created from the Kaleido metadata directly. These marts can be rendered as database tables or views, which can also be added to the Cognos framework model, or rendered as Excel pivot tables and click view data marts. Finally, we'll add these changes to the Cognos framework model using Kaleido's Universal Information Director and publish the changes to Cognos's semantic layer. Once the model has been updated in the Cognos metadata layer, those new attributes are available for the business analyst. The process happens much faster with Kaleido, allowing BI to better keep pace with your changing business.